week 14 of the fantasy football season and here's a few quarterbacks i looked at on the wire this week the first guy mike white of the new york jets of so the last couple weeks here he's put up decent fantasy numbers is white even though the jets couldn't get the job done and lost the game versus the minnesota vikings in minnesota week 13 so the last few games here since he's back in the starting lineup for white week 12 versus the bears 315 pass yards three touchdowns in that ball game and two rush yards and then week 13 in minnesota 369 pass yards to win those seven rushing yards with a rushing touchdown so week 14 i know a very tough matchup at the buffalo bills but mike whitey threw the football 57 times in that ball game at the minnesota vikings and i think we're going to see more of the same once again from white in this jet team especially if they're going to be trailing and chasing points most of the way in this one so right now I know it's a tough matchup in Buffalo. More of a deeper league ad is White. Available right now in 82% of fantasy leagues. The next quarterback is Jared Goff of the Detroit Lions. So Goff, he's a guy at home. He just gets the job done and he puts up fantasy numbers this season. His home road splits are out of control. The difference of the last few games here for Goff. Week 11 at the Giants. 165 pass yards in that one. Week 12 versus Buffalo. 240 pass yards, two touchdowns. And week 13 versus Jacksonville, 340 pass yards and two TDs. So week 14, another home game here for Jared Goff and the Lions here. And this Lion team, they've won four out of five. He's playing good football. Minnesota gives up the eighth most fantasy points to quarterbacks on the season. And Mike White just went over 300 yards. So right now, I'm on St. Brown. He looked good once again. DJ Chark had a big ball game in this one. And Goff's playing good football, available in 50% of fantasy leagues. The next guy's Tyra Huntley of the Baltimore Ravens so Lamar Jackson he left the week 13 ball game versus the Denver Broncos with any injury and we don't know how long he's going to be out for sure but Huntley we saw last season when he filled in for Jackson towards the end of the year put up some decent fantasy numbers and even in relief in week 13 versus Denver 187 pass yards and interception 41 rushing and a rushing touchdown so obviously he runs the football a lot a guy who could easily get you anywhere from 5 to 10 fantasy points weekly running the football here is Tyler Huntley. And he's got a good matchup at the division rival, the Pittsburgh Steelers, in Week 14. That gives up the fifth most fantasy points to quarterbacks on the season. So if Jackson's got to miss time for a while here, the schedule looks pretty nice here for Huntley. Week 14 at Pittsburgh, Week 15 at Cleveland, Week 16 versus Atlanta, and Week 17 versus Pittsburgh. So a very solid schedule towards the end of the season and the championship of the fantasy playoffs. So right now available 99% of fantasy leagues. He's definitely a wild card and a quarterback that can help you out if Lamar is going to miss time. The next guy, Brock Purdy of the San Francisco 49ers. So words come out, Jimmy Garoppolo out for the season after getting that foot rolled on early in the ball game versus the Miami Dolphins in Week 13. So Purdy's going to be the quarterback. We know Trey Lance is out for the season and Purdy was the next man up, and he had a pretty decent ball game, was Mr. Irrelevant. The last pick of the NFL draft in the past offseason. 210 pass yards versus Miami, two touchdowns, and an intel. So right here, dynamic offense, no doubt about it. Christian McCaffrey, obviously. Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, and George Kittle. And I know Week 14 is a pretty tough matchup versus Tampa Bay Buccaneer defense. That's a pretty solid universe quarterback. It's giving up the 14th least amount of fantasy points. But right now with all these weapons, and if you're desperate for a quarterback in more deeper leagues, Purdy right now available in 100% of leagues. And the fifth and final quarterback I have as an ad this week's Ryan Tannehill of the Tennessee Titans. So Ryan Tannehill here. I know it wasn't a great game once again in week 13. And they got destroyed by the Philadelphia Eagles in Philly. But right now, good matchup in a one-week use only as Tannehill in week 14 with a good matchup versus the Jaguars that give up the ninth most fantasy points the last few games here for Tannehill week 11 at Green Bay 333 pass yards two touchdowns in it though week 12 versus Cincinnati 291 passing and nine rushing in week 13 in Philly like I said 141 passing and a touchdown here for Ryan Tannehill with 34 rushing yards so right now he's a good pickup for one week use only and he's available right now in 83% of fantasy weeks. That's a few quarterbacks I looked at on the wire here for week 14 of the fantasy football season.